G'day, I'm Gary. I live in Southern California. I've been growing turmeric for a few years now. There are a number of reasons why I grow turmeric. It's a superfood. You can have the best quality. You can guarantee it's not irradiated or have any growth inhibitor on it. And you can save some money by growing it yourself. It's easy to grow. And in this video, I'm going to cover the three species or varieties of turmeric that I currently grow. And I'll also go over the yellow turmeric that I'm sitting amongst now. It started to flower for the first time this year. So this turmeric I'll come back to later and I'll talk about the flowers. When I decided to plant a garden down here, I had to bring in some clay from the hillside and I mixed that with llama manure and some horse and donkey manure just to get the biology going. The soil down here was very poor so I started off establishing a biology using compost or composted manure. On top of that I brought in some wood chips from a local tree trimmer. I put a one foot layer on top now because they were fresh wood chips, I wasn't sure if they were going to contain any compounds that would be detrimental to plant growth. So I let that sit for six months. Before I started with the wood chips, I did research. I found UC Davis in California. They had studies on eucalyptus and oleander and they contain compounds that are toxic. There are other plants that contain compounds that will inhibit plant growth. So what they found in their studies, and they've got that online, after two weeks, anything toxic in the wood chips will be significantly reduced. After six months, they will be undetectable. So I waited six months, then I started planting sweet potatoes. Now the sweet potatoes, I've done really well with. I use those as a living ground cover, plus you can eat the leaves and harvest. I do not companion plant. The way I grow my plants, if there's a space, I'll drop something in. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, I'll try something else. I do a permaculture garden. It's a back to Eden gardening technique. When I went to plant turmeric, all I did was make a space in my sweet potato patch and I planted some turmeric. Now with the turmeric, the research I did on the turmeric, a lot of people were saying to grow it in full sun. Now that may work in some places. What I have found, if I'm testing a new plant out and I'm not sure where it'll do best, I'll plant it in several places in my garden. So with the turmeric, I planted some in full sun at the front of my garden, which is south facing. And I planted some back here where it's sh shaded. I get double shade back here because of the beams of the building. So I get sun shade, sun shade all day long. So down here right now, we're in the shade. This one's in the shade, this one's in the sun. So this is a good spot to grow the turmeric. The turmeric I planted in full sun, fried when we had a heat wave. We're in a Mediterranean climate and when our heat waves come in, they give us very little warning. So the plants that are in full sun fried, they have failed at the front of my garden. The ones back here were successful, so now I had an idea of how they will grow in my zone. Which our zone here is 10A sunset zone 23. So they do better in partial shade in our part of California. So anyhow I had my turmeric planted here. Originally I planted white turmeric and the yellow turmeric. When winter comes or the cool weather comes turmeric will die off. It will go down to the ground. The yellow turmeric would come back the following year but the white turmeric rotted away in the ground. A lot of the small deciduous tropical plants, if they've got a rhizome or a tuber, they will do okay in cool ground, but not wet ground. If you've got conditions that are cool and wet, 
then there's a chance that they'll rot. So the white turmeric here comes up about a month later than the yellow, so I think it's a little more tropical than the yellow. So it had a shorter growing season. The rhizomes tend to be smaller and they just wouldn't make it through the winter. They didn't like the cold and the wet. The yellow handled a little better. But anyhow, I decided that I could improve on how I have them growing here. This is a little bit raised above the ground around us, but it was still getting too wet. That's when I started growing in the raised beds. So what the next thing I did was built my raised bed and I put a pond in the center of it. The tropical plants like a little more humidity and our humidity is usually very low. So by putting a pond in and growing them around the pond, that helped with the humidity. When I saw how successful my first pond was, I decided to set up some more ponds and experiment a little. So this hot tub here was a raised bed. It's got a hole in the center, it can't hold water. So what I did was I removed my improved soil, put it to one side, put these wading pools in. So I got a large wading pool with two smaller wading pools. The bottom one has sand in it, and this one has sifted wood chips or humus in it. I'm using this as a nursery. So I've got this set up in the center and around the rim or the perimeter, I planted more turmeric. I was able to get some white turmeric again this year and I planted that on the other side there. The yellow turmeric is growing really well. The white is a little bit behind. As I said earlier, the white tends to come up about a month later than the yellow. So hopefully I'll be able to keep the white going over the winter. We're able to grow turmeric in temperate zones, even though it's a tropical plant, because where it naturally occurs, in the dry season it'll go dormant, and that's so that it can survive through the drought conditions of the dry season. The dry season roughly corresponds with our cooler months here in the temperate zones. So if you want to, and we do this, you can dig up the rhizome, store it indoors, and then bring it out and plant it when the weather starts to warm up again. I think this winter I'll dig up some of the white turmeric, take it indoors and leave some of it out here. The yellow turmeric I know can do well outside, so I'll leave the yellow, dig up the white, and I'll harvest the yellow as I need it. My hot tub is in the middle of my garden. It's towards the front and it gets a lot of sun. So to compensate for that, I built a frame out of PVC pipe. I attached some shade cloth to it. And now when the sun's overhead, it shades the turmeric and the other plants that are below it. So it gets morning sun and it gets shade in the midday and then it gets afternoon shade too. So the turmeric that I planted in here this year I planted around the perimeter. The yellow turmeric came up first and it's quite tall. It's about two foot tall. The white turmeric came up about a month later. The soil that I'm growing it in is pretty much broken down wood chips. It's very rich and fully humus. It's almost like a forest floor. So they do well in that sort of soil. So I've got a few small white turmerics come up on this side. And if you compare the size of them, they're a lot shorter and less vigorous growing than the yellow turmeric. So they're about a month behind them. The sweet potatoes that I use on the ground, I use it as a green mulch. It protects the soil and creates humidity. Last week I started clearing some away and I do a chop and drop so I removed some sweet potatoes. I started putting them under my bananas. My bananas are really the only thing that I 
compost down here. I do a chop and drop and I need a lot of green material so the sweet potatoes work out well for that. Now when I was down here I started to clear around the turmeric that around my original pond and that's when I started to notice the flowers. So these flowers are very attractive. They've got almost orchid-like flowers to them when they first open up. So that's the yellow turmeric. I've got flowers all along here in multiple places. So they're coming up and they're producing flowers all over. And there's another flower there. I've got about five flowers all up. Now these plants here are, are in their second season growing here. So I did transplant them last season when I set up the pond. And this year, now that they're two year old, they're starting to produce flowers. So I'm going to say it's probably normal that they flower in the second year. I don't know that for sure, but in my conditions, that's what they're doing. So some of these here I missed when they die back over winter. If I don't have something surrounding them, they can get lost. So those are a couple of small pieces that I missed when I harvested them and moved them. I like to grow my turmeric in these floral pots. So I set up a floral pot, I split the sides and that way it can expand if the rhizomes get too big. When I start watering, before they come up, I can water straight into here and I know exactly where the plants are and then once they do come up it's not that important but when they do go dormant especially if they're in an area like I've got them set up over here I've got these set up amongst the sweet potatoes so when they go dormant sometimes I lose them so I set them up in these little floral pots that I get from the florist The yellow turmeric, I know most people are familiar with the flavour of that. The white turmeric has got more of a ginger mango flavour to it and it's very nice to eat straight up. So I will eat pieces of this and I'll cook with it. The black turmeric has more of a bitter, spicy hot flavour. I would call it more of a medicinal turmeric. It's something that you wouldn't want to eat a lot of. It has a lot more curcumin than any of the other turmerics. In fact, it's got the highest level of curcumin of any plant. It's a very attractive plant. I'd like to grow some of these indoors in our new room that we're setting up. They've got a burgundy maroon color that travels along the leaf, the center of the leaf and that continues down the stem. I hope you were able to get information from my video today that you can take away and I hope I encouraged you to go out and grow turmeric. It's very easy to grow. I like growing it. I like eating it. The method I use is the back to Eden method. I'm literally just using wood chips to provide nourishment for it. Robbie has her methods and we've got a few videos on our channel that Robbie's put up. We'll put those at the end of this video or you could go to our channel, Robbie and Gary Gardening Easy and search through the videos for turmeric and ginger because she does better with ginger. This year I tried growing my ginger again but it got shaded out by the turmeric. So hopefully you'll go out You'll try growing turmeric. If you want to grow it for one season, you'll get a nice tropical foliage. If you want to let it grow for two seasons, you'll get a nice flower in the second season. With that, if you'd like to leave a comment, feel free to leave a comment. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. 
and don't forget to eat what you grow.